So in around the tri-state area, the amounts of rain were deluge, downpours, anywhere from uh, three to seven inches, depending on where you were. Uh, the uh, F3, EF3, as known as before, and the stuff down in Florida, all part of the same system. Now, let's go ahead. Let's move forward. That's the joy of weather as you move and see what's down the pike. May the 1st, the normal high is 68 degrees. May the 31st, the normal high is 75 degrees. And in terms of rainfall, <coughs> excuse me, four. 0.09 is just about right. Current condition is 61, humidity 36, southwesterly in at 12 miles per hour. The flow of air is very unstable. So what we have here is temps in the 50s, but you're going to have clouds, you're going to have clearing, you're going to have sun tomorrow, then you'll have clouds, and you can have a stray shower about at any time. Less than a tenth of an inch of rain. It's not going to be a big deal, but that's going to be the story again on Wednesday and Thursday before this upper level feature begins to go and move away. There it is. It's a big change chunk of real estate with a counterclockwise flow and very unstable air. With the unstable air and the cold air aloft, and then you get the May sun warming it up, bang, that's when you get the action, and we will have that. So here it is. It's a big deal item drifting a little bit to the south and east and very slowly. As I noted before, it's going to take four days to move about 800 miles. But finally, by Thursday, late Friday, it's offshore. It's called an omega block for the Greek letter omega. You see a ridge all the way out in the west coast of the United States. You see a trough in the middle of the country, and it can't move because there's another ridge over the ocean. So it's a slow, slow jog, and it isn't going anywhere. And finally, it does, and that's Thursday late into Friday. Uh, you'll be able to see the ridge gives way. The trough now begins to move. And once that happens, look out, baby, because the ridge will pop and these mild temperatures will move in starting on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. The word mild and eventually warm pops into the forecast. It's Cleveland against your Yankees. 57 degrees, 55 degrees later on. Here's your seven day forecast. I'd love to accent the end of it, okay? So, spot showers about Wednesday through Thursday, Friday. Again, we may have it. Over the weekend, we turn milder, we turn sunny. And we keep the sun out here. And by Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, not out of the question that we're going to talk about 75 to 80 degrees. But we're going to have to wait about eight, nine days for that.